Hi, I'm Dr. Freitas, and a number of you have asked me how I make my ground seed uh, porridge uh, uh, mix. And I want to go through a number of the things that we use, and I'll show you just how we do it, okay? So I always add in uh, some berries to give it some taste. So if you look right here, we have our organic cherries, uh, blueberries. These two are my favorites. Okay, for the seeds, we've got a number of seeds laid out here, but I always use the Bob, Bob's Red Mill mix. And we have sunflower seeds we use, sesame seed, chia seeds, is your chia, uh, pumpkin seeds, I always use pumpkin, but I, these here are just easier to get over at Whole Foods. Flax seed and uh, teff is one of the grains I use, but uh, another grain that we use also is this farro, and that's actually what is in here today. Um, and then I added some mucilage. This is for taste. Um, if one has um, colitis or diverticulitis, because this one we don't grind up, um, I would not use this. I add some cinnamon, and I always use almond milk. So anyway, let's start and we'll go through just how we uh, do this, okay? So we have our blueberries, we throw these in. Um, we take our cherries, we throw them into our big bowl. Let's start with some sun, yeah, right. Some sunflower seeds. And generally what I do is I take a tablespoon of these. So in this case, because I'm only using a tablespoon, I can put uh, two different things in here. So I use um, sunflower seeds and sesame seeds. All right, we grind this up. And then what I always do is I take it and put it in a separate bowl first. So here we go. This. Then you want to clean out your coffee grinder. Never stick your fingers in there because that blade, um, should it start up for any reason, would, would take your fingers off. So there's that one. Let's go we'll start off with next some chia and some pumpkin seed. So here's our chia. Here is our pumpkin seed. We'll grind that up. mixing bowl because later we're just going to mix that up. Clean it out. Again, keep your fingers out of there. Take your side. Flaxseed, I'm a big fan of flaxseed so I always add a little bit extra of that. And this says teff, but it's actually farro. Either one of those two grains, I'll, I'll add uh, to this. Okay, we grind this up. in for taste. Again, I wouldn't use it if you had diverticulitis or colitis or any type of uh, um, intestinal issue like that. And this one here, I always add a couple. Um, and then I like to put some cinnamon, gives it a nice taste. There you go, never measure it, just toss some in. Shake it up. Okay, I'm going to come back here. Put it in the bowl. And I'm just going to run over. I have my spoon here. 
and stir this up. Add in your almond milk. After about five minutes, this will thicken up. So I generally just put in a, a little bit more. Because once the grains absorb the uh, almond milk, uh, it does thicken. And if I'm going to work, I'll take a bowl like this. And generally what I do is I use a measuring cup. And I take, for myself, I do about a cup and a half is, um, is what I do. Okay, so there's a cup. There's a half. And off I'll go. Or if I'm having it at home, um, I'll measure it out because I don't want to eat too much. And this is very good. Mmm, delicious. A little something on the side there. Anyway, enjoy. Let me know how you like it. Uh, also, please subscribe to this channel as well. Alrighty, thank you, and we'll see you next time.